Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you the bibliographic coupling using the bibliometric software in a bit more detail. In some earlier videos, we have shown you how to do the bibliographic coupling, co citation analysis, all these things using the bibliometric, but very briefly. And then we also have made some videos on BiblioShiny. Please check it out. If you don't like to code much, then check out our videos on BiblioShiny. But one of the issue with BiblioShiny is that you do not have the bibliographic coupling option in BiblioShiny. You have co-citation, uh, you have factorial analysis, you have social network, all these things, but you don't have the bibliographic coupling. And in my personal experience, I find that when I want to cluster the articles, I want to find different themes in, in, the, in the topic that I'm researching using the bibliographic tools, bibliometric tools, I, I find the bibliographic coupling tool the most robust one are one of the most robust ones okay so i really like this tool but the biblioshiny tool does not support it yet so i will i will show you in a bit more detail using the course how you can do it and also i will upload this file on my website and you will find the link below in the video description so of course in r if you, as you already know when working with r you have to load the library first you have to load the package first using the library command so which i'm doing here i have already installed it if you have not installed bibliometrics please do so okay and then this command is to use the biblioshiny without the coding outlet but i'm not going to run this command for now okay because i'm going to show you with the codes how to do the bibliographic coupling so here i will load my data so my data is loaded. Now I have to convert my data into the required format for analysis using the bibliometrics. And we, yeah, I have the code here. So my data is from ISI and my format is plain text. So the conversion is done. As I can see here, I have in total 279 articles. So these commands here are the basic ones for some bibliometric analysis, which, which are not really the focus here, but we can still we can just quickly run and see what we get and you will see we get all the bibliometric information here right but you already know this if you have seen our earlier videos so I'm, I'm not going to spend some time here I will just go directly on the bibliometric coupling part using the codes okay and that is here on line 79 okay so here I'm creating a network matrix which I'm calling using the using the command biblio network okay and i'm using the converted data file m and my analysis is coupling and my network is references separated by comma semicolon okay and actually this is some other comment uh, i don't really need it here okay so just ignore this line and it's a it's a block line anyway then this is my line for bibliographic coupling so I, I give a command network plot this one this is the network that I want to plot type MDS which is multi-dimensional scaling normalize algorithm is association clustering algorithm is work drop and then I have here n equals to 50 that is pick the most 50 most bibliographic bibliographically coupled um, papers and then size node size is 4 size hex is true that means node sizes are scaled based on the number of bibliographic coupling the label is true level size is 3 and then here i am saying level hex equal to 3 uh, equals to true that means level size is also scaled based on the bibliographic coupling okay and here bibliographic coupling of uh, articles that's my title so you can actually play with different numbers different algorithm to see all that all the options you have here you, let's first run this and then we'll see oh, what are the options we have so i'm going to run this one okay and then i'll click and run this command okay so now if i zoom in here i can see my bibliographic coupled figure so here it is Okay, so here we have one cluster here, which is like a blue one. Here we have red one. Here we have a green one. Here it's like a violet one. We have four clusters here. Okay, but here you see the labels are so large, I can't really see it nicely. 
okay so let's say first I can just turn off the label so to do that what I will do I will just say label equals to false so if I do that and run it again then you will see we don't have any labels anymore we just have the basic graph okay so that's how you can actually play with it then for labels here yeah let's let's say we keep the labels we make it true and then I make the size to one maybe now it will be smaller and we can see it better as you can see now we can see the labels better okay but now we don't have the scaling really working well right so if I make it a little bit bigger let's say if I make it 1.5 and then I run it again it should be slightly better yeah it's, it's slightly better okay so this looks rather okay I would say if you want to export this figure you can just click go here you can save it as image you can take it as PDF you can copy it to clipboard but anyway let's explore some of the other options that we have like what are the other types that we can use what are the other normalizing algorithms we can use or what are the clustering algorithms that we can use so to do that what I will do is I will use this command I will use this command and see what are the options we have with this command I will go for help and then start my bracket and this command and then enter so here I will see all the options that I have with this command okay so let's say for type here we can have auto so then it will do an automatic layout selection we can have circle we can have a sphere we can have MDS which I'm using here we can have first term we can have commoda so let's say what happens if we make it to circle and then I run it again and if I click on plot see our plot looks like a circle we still have the same four clusters okay if you look into the colors but it looks like a circle uh, I don't really like it much we can try something else for instance we could try the uh, let's say we try the Kamada Kamada. And then if we try this, let's see how it looks like. So normally you should play it. It doesn't look well actually with this as well. So maybe for this case, the best option is to go with the one that I was using earlier, the MDS, the multidimensional scaling approach. Okay. So let's say I I go with MDS. For normalization, we have so here you can see the details about the label, label size, what does they mean, label kicks, label color, you can have also label number. Okay, you can have yeah different algorithms. So for clusters here we have Lovion, we have age betweenness, we have yeah, all these algorithms here. We can have no algorithm as well. So let's see if we use the algorithm to another one. I really recommend everyone to reading this article. It already discusses most of the algorithms that they have used in the in the in this package. Okay, so now I am going to change the workshop to Lovion, and then I will run it again. Let's see if our plots change a little bit. It looks okay, actually. It looks pretty good. So maybe I could use this algorithm as well. And here we can see again. Yeah, one, two, three, and four clusters. So it gives the same four clusters, although we are using a different algorithm here. For normalization, we can also use a slightly different algorithm here. So here we have the association, we have Jacquard, we have inclusion, we have Sultan. So let's say we use this one, Sultan, and see what happens. Figure structure changed a little bit, but more or less the clusters are more or less the same. Okay, so they didn't change much. So we can actually use this one as well. So here, this is what I want to show. If you if you want to do bibliographic coupling, you can also use the number of articles here to something like 60, 70, whatever you want, and it can change. It will change based on that. Okay. 
I still see I have more or less the same four clusters. Okay, but it doesn't look really nice. So one of the thing is that when doing this kind of analysis, one of the issue is that it should look nice. You should have meaningful clusters. Okay, so you have to have these things in mind. So here, yeah, I again have more or less. I, I see that the best one I get actually with the 51. Okay, and here I wanted to show that you can actually change the size of the node, change the size of the label. You can scale. Okay, these informations I wanted to show you. You can try the different algorithms uh, for different uh, layout type, different uh, normalization algorithm, this different clustering algorithm. So I hope this helps and I will upload this file in, in, the, in, in, in the Research Hub website link. So you can download the file from there and just you, you mostly have to change only the data location here and then you should be able to use all the commands as it is. Okay. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in a comment and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you for watching this.